My view, you've got now this phenomena that has created a problem for all of us in the international community, and that's the, the issue of foreign fighters. So you have now foreign fighters coming from all over the world, uh, coming to fight uh, alongside ISIS uh, in Syria and now today uh, inside of Iraq. Uh, if you look at from the Russian point of view, um, Chechen extremist fighters are coming in. Uh, to fight in Syria and Iraq that are going to be problematic because eventually they go back, go back to the Caucasus and create problems. Not only that, all the other jihadists that are looking for the next place to fight will also go back to the Caucasus. So they have as much of a problem, I believe, uh, if not slightly more because of the numbers involved than, let's say, other European countries, France, Germany, uh, Italy, or anywhere else. So I think we're all in, in the same boat. I mean, I mean, you'd probably be surprised that we're picking up uh, Chinese from Western China uh, in, in, in Syria and in Iraq, and actually not too far away from our borders. So this has really become a global problem. And how do you deal with that global problem? Well, um, uh, there is, uh, on, on the other side is, uh, I personally believe that we as uh, Arab and Muslim countries, as I said to uh, our parliament on the opening of parliament two months ago, this is a, a Muslim problem. Uh, we need to take ownership of this. Uh, we need to stand, stand up and say what is right and what is wrong. Uh, this is uh, no reflection of our religion. Uh, this is evil. Um, and all of us ha have got to make that decision. We have to stand up and say, uh, this is uh, the line that is drawn in the sand. And those that believe in right should stand on this side. Um, and those that don't have to make a decision stand on the other. It's clearly a fight between uh, good and evil. I think it's a generational fight. Uh, uh, as I said to actually to President Putin, I think this is, this is a third world war by other means. Um, I think Wait, let me just stop. You're saying this is a third world war by other means, and that's what you said to Putin. That's what you'll say to the President of the United States. Uh, what, what I believe, I've, I think I've already said to the President, and I've said to other leaders, um, this is, this is uh, a generational fight, and I hope that on a generational fight so that people misunderstand me, I hope the short term part of it is going to be the military. The medium term is, is a security aspect of it, mm -hmm. but the long term is going to be the ideological one. And, and, and so what I'm saying is, you know, we as Muslims have got to, you know, look ourselves in the mirror and realize that we have this problem, uh, uh, make this very difficult call, and then all of us come together um, and clearly sort of say that you know, these people are renegades, these people have nothing to, to uh, do with Islam. I mean, we have this, uh, this argument at the moment that they're saying there's extremist Muslims and, and, and moderate Muslims, uh, and I, I, I don't believe that. You know, I'm a Muslim, why are you calling me a moderate Muslim? I'm a Muslim. I don't know what these people are. We don't know what Baghdadi they, is. You know, th these people th that feel that our religion condones the execution and crucifixion of, of people, the beheading and the raping of, uh, of women, that has nothing to do with our religion or other religions. Um, so uh, there's a lot of uh, leaders around the Arab and Muslim world that have had enough.